welcome to the garden. We're, um, or I'm planning to dig up this bed of potatoes today. They've got a bit of green on them really. They're not quite ready to go. But I have more potatoes I want to plant in here and some leeks for the winter. So I'm going to clear this bed and see what we get. The best bit of gardening, harvesting the bounty from your hard work. So I'm going to start up this end close to you. There's an onion here gone to seed. It's not much used to be gone to seed so I'm going to pull that out. Be done with it. And some potato tops. Whoa, just pull them up, we've already started. Lovely new potatoes. That one's got some holes in it, so I'll throw, discard that. And these, that can go in the compost. Oh, where's my box? <laughs> A box to put the harvest in. And pull up the weeds while we're at it. Tiny spud. Bitsy bitsy bits. Hardly worth bothering with those. Let's see what's under the ground. And I did spot some of these potatoes. I've actually got little fruits on them. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, he, ooh, nice. Yeah, nice. Big potatoes. Little potatoes. I wonder how many we'll get from this. Bit. Get out the way, Lulu. <laughs> in the film. Okay. I'm sure there'll be more underground when I start delving in a bit deeper. The soil's surprisingly dry. I've not been watered in here. I got something in my eye. Some tiny onions. I didn't know they were even here. Um, well, we'll put them in the basket as well. I've already harvested some onions from the bed that's behind the camera. That one's a bit up. Throw that out. Are you going to sit in the basket now, are you? Make life interesting. We harvested a cat. Did we harvest a cat? Well, that's a shame. This one's a bit green. I don't know if I keep it in a dark cupboard, will it go white? I know you shouldn't eat green potatoes. They carry some sort of toxin that's not good for you. Now, there's obviously been something in this one munching it. Some sort of ground slug. I'm still going to take it though. I'll use it first and cut the ucky bit away. Still eat the rest of the potato. Put all my tops there for the compost. Oh, it's like digging up gold. It's lovely. It is like digging up gold. Potatoes cost you money in the shops. They're not that expensive to buy, but nothing tastes quite as delicious as your own homegrown potatoes. Now, that's the tops pulled off. Let's see what we've got if we delve in here. Where's my little trowel? I've not got my big spade. Well, I have got my big spade ready if I need it. One, I hope not to need it. And two, I don't like digging and forking potatoes. You always end up cutting one in half or spiking it with a fork. It seems such a waste. Ooh, nothing much more there. Oh, there we go. So much for my no dig garden, she says digging. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, another onion. That didn't come to much. Fell out the basket. We'll have that though. Can hear the rain in the trees. I think I might be getting wet. Well, we're doing quite well so far. I'm going to pause the video and come back to you when I've cleared this row. We're maybe, I think, six foot long. So, a six foot row of potatoes. Let's see what we get. back again. I saved the best till last. <laughs> Just as I switched the camera off, the first one I pulled up was loads of potatoes. Probably my best plant. 
all cleared. We've got a few nasturtiums at the end of this bed that I've decided to leave. I don't need that little bit of space. They're perfectly happy there and I can enjoy the flowers for the rest of the summer season. Oh, pop off these last few potatoes. That's a bit green. I'm going to put, I've got a couple of green ones. I'm going to put them in a dark paper bag in a cupboard for a couple of weeks and see if they go back to being nice white potatoes again. And if so, I'll eat them. And if not, I'll keep them and plant them again next year. Oh, every little, every little bit. I'll give this a quick rake over and we'll be ready for planting the next crop. I'm actually going to put some more potatoes in here and I've got a few, where have I put them? I've got some leeks that are going in here. There's only about five or six of them. It's French. So there, a good week. Can you see all the harvest? <gasps> a huge tray of potatoes and a few extra onions that I didn't even know were there. harvested onions today. They were in the bed behind you. Where are they? Oh! And these were the onions I picked a little earlier. I think this is about my best one. A red barren I think it's called. So I've got a mixture of white onions and reds. The reds have done a lot better than the white ones did for me this year. I've got a few couple white ones, not bad. Most of them are a bit smaller than I'd like. The reds have done really well. So onions and potatoes. Right, let's go see what else the garden has to offer. Hello, back again. This was the potato bed we've just cleared. Um, I've run over the rake, smoothed it all out. I shan't be planting the next lot of potatoes today because they're still at the house. I'm going to pan us round, hopefully not too fast, because I know this can make you quite giddy when you're watching the screen. And across this grassy strip, we've got the winter squash and sunflowers growing. Oh, that was a butterfly skipping across the top of the screen. So let's head over that way. And I'll show you what exciting things are going on in here. Whoa. These are, where have we gone? I can see it, but there's a leaf in the way. Let's move the leaves. Now then, these were labelled in my seed packets as Turk's Turban. They've certainly got a hint of Turk's Turban about them with that flat, dulled end. But they seem a bit rounder and fatter than any Turk's Turban I've ever grown before. So we'll see. Um, there's quite a lot of squash. There's all sorts of different ones going, varieties here. Let's see what you can see. A lot of leaves. We have, I think this will go blue. It's got that funny bluey green colour to it. So as it ripens off, like pumpkins go bright orange, this squash will go blue. So it will be a crown prince. And pan you back because it's not quite so dizzying and we'll walk around the back of the pumpkin patch and then we won't we'll walk around the front of the pumpkin patch <laughs> pumpkin patch with no actual pumpkins and we have a second batch over here that has the sunflowers in it as well as the pumpkins these are doing splendid i don't know if i can get me in front of the camera maybe not um, they're taller than me. I don't know if I can see me next to it. Let's pause. You and take a photo. There, we'll try and get a selfie in with the sunflowers. Oh, leave me glasses to read the screen, but not for walking about. Where are we? Oh, here we go. This big chap. What am I? Five foot seven, I think. So even with his head root, he's still a little bit bigger than me. Gosh, his sunflower head's bigger than mine as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Should be getting lots of lovely seeds out of that one. And its friend, where's it gone? Well, there's one there. And another one there that was trying to catch. Um, oh, I'm standing on a, a no good pumpkin. Right, jumping about a lot today. Stop. Okay, so back at the 
front of the sunflowers. No more selfies. And underneath them, say so mixed in with them, we have more squashes growing. And this one here is definitely pink banana. Yellow now. Again, like the blue squashes as they start to ripen off. Called banana because they have this banana shape. They get very big, like a big marrow. Um, they start to go a sort of a blush pink. Hence the name, pink banana. What else have we got growing in this one? There are different varieties of squash. I know I have crown prints. Oh, there's, oh, there's a big banana. Getting fat, this one. Tough that hay off it. There we go. A big pink banana. I expect it to at least double in size. We're what now? Late July. Nasty cut, but we're back again. I've actually been gone for a little while, happily picking these wonderful red currants hiding under this net. The only reason I get any is because they're hiding under a net. Um, red currants apparently will stay on the bush. Don't fall off when they're ripe and ready, they just sit there shriveling up like prunes. Don't know what you can see, I'm not looking. There we go, I'm taking it down to the ground. Where's my bowl gone? Oh, there it is. So I have a lovely bowl of red currants to add to our potato harvest while I am here fighting with this net. Now I'm going to pause you. Whoop, where have you gone? Grass. <laughs> we'll pause. Here we are, unpaused. This time we're on the other side of the garden at a thornless blackberry. And it truly is thornless. I don't have any other name for it other than that. It's been here for so many years. Where are we? Oh, there we are. It has lovely big berries. They're slightly sharper, a bit more of a, a little bit of a lemony tang. Yum yum, she says eating them. But truly, no prickles, no spikes, no thorns at all. It's wonderful. Strangely, I still pick them really delicately, like the bush was spiky. <laughs> And if I pan down over onto the grass, this is why I was gone for a while, not that you noticed. I also have a punnet of blackberries here that I have been picking already. Oh, that one's sharp. And stop again. I'll see you in a minute. Corn cobs. I freed myself up two hands so I could strip this one open. And that one's ready, so I'll be taking that one home for supper tonight. See if we can snap it off. Oh, another one-handed job. Oh, to snap the corn off without taking the stem of the plant. So, I'm not sure that plant's got any more cobs on it. Yay, corn on a cob. Delicious. Oh, while we're here, we'll turn behind us. We have the fresh big fat tomatoes, not... Not red yet, but getting nice and plump. Very pleased. And just along beside them, hiding in all the tomato plant leaves, watching where I put my feet. It's getting very crowded in here. We have a pepper plant that had a pepper on the other day. Oh, there it is. Now, can you see? Yes, you can see. Screen full of leaves, that's all you can see. Terrible. Where are we gone? Where's the pepper? Oh, this is awful. No good at videoing at all. There. <gasps> Something's been eating my pepper. That's terrible. Well, I'm going to take that off the plant. No point leaving it there for things to eat. I'll eat it, even if it is green. I'll put it in a salad. <gasps> How depressing. Now. I have more peppers over the other side. They're round fat ones instead of... I'm still carrying this sweet corn. Well, there we go. Ugh. Step over this squash. What have we here? Here we have some gherkins growing. Little tiny ones. So give that a week and plenty of watering. We'll have little baby cucumbers ready to munch. And 
spinning round not too fast, I hope. We should have some peppers in here as well. Too many leaves in the way. There we go. Oh, peppers growing in here. Time to switch you off, I think. Not much else to see, just lots of green jungle. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.